What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and today I'm bringing you my first gameplay from Titanfall. And obviously this is the beta, not the full game, but regardless, it's a really fun game to watch. It's a really fun game to play, and I cannot wait until March 11th because this game is simply put fantastic. Uh, I played the beta for quite a few hours, so I have a decent amount of knowledge of the game. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, so let's just jump right in. As you can see, I'm using the Smart Pistol, and... I know that's been a little bit controversial. I've uh, scrolled through the scrolled through the subreddit, and um, people seem to have a lot of discussion about it. My personal opinion is that it's not overpowered because this has been what uh, most people have been worrying about. Um, because in reality, in uh, any kind of one-on-one -on -one gunfight, you're never gonna win. See, in that case, if I try to take him on at range, he's got a sniper rifle. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do it. So I had to try and get closer, and obviously he just takes me out. The lock-on is relatively slow on people. Um, it's very quick on on the uh, on grunts and it's very quick on specters, but uh, when you actually try and kill people with it, it takes a much longer time to lock on. So you really have to know your positioning, which is why it's important to use mobility. And obviously, the mobility system in Titanfall is one of the best in any game I've ever played. I used to play some games that had parkour aspects. There's a there's a free to play um, a free to play first person shooter for Mac and uh, PC called uh, t uh, Urban Terror that had a lot of wall jumping aspects to it and you couldn't really be good at the game unless you got good at those things. So um, in this game that's going to be similar. And Really the best players that you would see in the beta were the ones who knew exactly how to maneuver the map and how to jump around. Uh, what you see is a lot of people play this game like Call of Duty but in reality it's not quite Call of Duty. I mean in my opinion it's much more fun. Um, it, it, this game is is to first person shooters as COD 4 was to first person shooters for COD 5 or Modern Warfare 2 for that matter uh, it just makes you constantly feel like you're amazing constantly feel like you're a badass and do all these amazing things that uh, first person shooters have sort of stopped doing for the most part like right here come up sneak behind him and just kick the crap out of him like not many games do that and the, the way you maneuver, the way you wall jump, the way you can constantly be in the air, the way the weapons work, and everything in the game is just so much fun. Um, and I, I I don't think this will be the COD killer. I think COD is killing itself, to be honest. Obviously, the game is still huge. Um, you can't ignore the fact that the game sells like no other, and there's a ton of players. But, you know, COD Ghost kind of kicked itself in the balls by putting itself out on what six seven platforms it's on Xbox 360 and one it's on PS3 and 4 it's on PC it's on Wii U it's just got it so split and so all the communities are smaller as a part of that and that makes the games worse because Call of Duty plays on connection based uh, connection based things uh, uh, mostly based on proximity as opposed to actual connection um, I mean obviously that will do its best but Titanfall it was lagless, the beta was smooth, the game will likely be as smooth, um, and it's just fantastic. It's hard to say, I mean, you feel amazing when you're in the Titan, you feel amazing when you're jumping around the map. It just does everything that it needs to, and obviously there are no kill streaks, which were kind of the Call of Duty's way of making you feel great about yourself, but in this game you do, it does give you Titans, and you can use your Titans, and it does, it does, it's just so rewarding. So, will this game kill COD? No. Is this game better than COD? Absolutely, in almost every aspect. In the sense that it's one of the only first person shooters out that has the fluid mechanics of COD. The way the, bolt, the shooting works, the way reloading works, the way it feels, the actual movement speed of uh, turning and the, uh, the reaction of it. I can go on and on about how the controller physically works and all these things. Um, the way you turn, the kind of movement it does. I, it, like I said, there's a lot of things that go into it, but this game has all those mechanics straight from COD. Except the only difference is you can wall jump, you can double jump, you can call in titans, you can do all these things. Now, there are some things I feel this game will be missing. I mean, here's my titan right here using quad rockets and everything. But there are some things I think this game is missing, and I don't think they're actually coming in. It might be something they add later on, and I hope they do. But I think they should have Titanless gameplay, um, like Team Deathmatch without Titans. I know the game is called Titanfall. I know they said that themselves. But I think the game would actually be fun because it does have those called. It would be like playing Call of Duty, 
Uh, except you can jump around the map like a maniac and just really enjoy yourself in that sense. Um, I, I don't know, I think there's a lot of things they could do. There's more things they could do with just um, straight up titans. Like, there's no titan team deathmatch from what I understand. There is a last titan standing, which is kind of like this game's search and destroy. But again, it, it really just doesn't entirely compare to an actual search and destroy match. And I think they should consider it at least, don't just put it off as unnecessary. Um, but, you know, there's, there's things they can do this game, there's things that this game does perfectly. Uh, the map design is great, there's, camping is just simply put not an issue in this game. Uh, anyone who tries to camp gets taken out because there's very few corners that are actually advantageous in that sense. And very few corners that are high traffic that actually would help you in any way for that matter. But, to that extent, there's also, uh... Some people will use the mecha the jumping mechanics to try and get to very high places for sniping. But then again, you can just take them out no problem as soon as you figure out where they are. So it's only like a trade one kill for kill. Not to mention the fact that kill to death ratios are not important in this game whatsoever. As long as you get the most amount of points for your team, you're really doing it well. And you'll see at the score man of this game, I get a fair amount of pilot kills and a fair amount of titan kills. But really, where most of my points come from is, is the minion kills. Um, and... I mean, that goes to the fact that I'm using Smart Pistol, that's kind of my job, uh, to kill the minions, that's what it's best for, but, I don't know, I just, I'm really looking forward to this game, I'm really looking forward to see what new weapons are going to be in the full release, what new Titan aspects there's going to be in the full release, what new, uh, what new maps there are going to be, new game modes, possible updates in the future, apparently they said there's no microtransactions, um, don't, I think that means there is, uh, there still will be DLC, but, look at the nuclear explosion right there. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I, I, this game is great. This game really is great. I, I'm going to side with Woody on this one as they've just done a wonderful job. You see we won there, the epilogue by the way, that's, ah, oh, it's epic. But, I'll talk more about that stuff in my next video, i got a few more. If you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, see my next commentary.